In the earlier lesson, we had derived an equation for the range of a projectile and we had based it on 1. the initial speed of the launch and 2. the angle of the launch theta. And by examining the formula, we can see that if we wanted to throw the ball furthest from the launch point, then we have to throw it at an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal. That way, sine of 2 theta would be 1 and we have the highest range. This trajectory that we see here is the trajectory made by the ball thrown at an angle of 45 degrees and we'll use this as a reference to compare the trajectory of the ball thrown with the same speed but with different angles with the horizontal. So let's see how far that ball would land. And you can see that it doesn't go as far as it did with the 45 degree one. As the angle of the launch gets lower and lower, the vertical y component of the velocity or v0 sine of theta decreases and the ball doesn't gain enough of an elevation and therefore it strikes the ground rather quickly. Now let's launch it with an angle higher than 45 degrees but keeping the same initial velocity v0. Now this is launched with the same speed but with an angle of 60 degrees and again as predicted by the formula the range with the launch angle of 60 is less than the range with the launch angle of 45. 60 is this blue curve that you see and 45 is the red one. As the angle of the launch gets higher and higher the x component of the velocity or v0 cos of theta decreases and the ball doesn't go far enough towards the right after the launch. This is not so intuitive that the launch angle of 45 allows us to throw the ball the furthest. So let's play around with different angles and compare the results. Here you can see the trajectories at 35 and 45 degrees. The blue one is 35 and the red one is 45 which has the maximum range. Now let's increase the launch angle from 35 bit by bit and check out how the trajectory changes. So we go to 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 and you can see that as we approach 45 the trajectories now coincide. Now above 45 you might think the projectile would move further than this range r. But let's try what happens beyond 45. And you can see that beyond 45 the range begins to recede. And as we get closer to 90, the range now really shortens. But here, the time of flight increases. Now let's move it backwards one more time. And now you get an idea that a 45 degree launch gets you the maximum range.
So as per the equation, we would get the maximum range when theta is 45. To obtain the maximum range for a given initial speed, we would have to launch the projectile at 45 degrees. Thank you.